Hey peeps, it's Jess, Sail Dessert Geek, and today we are covering savory caramel. So, for those of you who have never been to the Theo store in Seattle, at Theo HQ they firmly believe in doing mealy random stuff to see what sticks. And it's pretty awesome for us, and also kind of frustrating because I'll talk about products that you will never see unless you go to Seattle or you convince your friend to smuggle it home for you. And this is pretty much one of those things. This is actually a collaboration with Fair Start. Fair Start is a local nonprofit that helps train and rehabilitate people so they can go into the workforce as chefs. And it's really awesome. They do cool things. And the flavors we've got here today, caramelized onion, carrot coriander, bay fennel, and celery herb. So let's open this up. Little pretty box. These guys are jammed in here. Check this out. They're just really tight. Like there's barely any room. I would not want to pack these. Just dang. But cute. This is cool. So I was worried I wouldn't know what was what, but they've got this great listing here. So this guy here, it's dark chocolate, and we're looking at buttery caramel with vegetable notes of roasted celery and bouquet garni. Fancy. Okay, and of course, garnish with celery seed and Himalayan sea salt. It's cute. Very simple, classic, elegant. Right off the bat, you get the celery. It's like eating fresh celery because of celery seed. It's like the fanciest ants on log I've ever eaten with caramel. We've got the bay fennel, which is herbal notes of fresh bay laurel and fennel seed elegantly paired with bright zest of lemon. Yep. And then that's a little bit of fennel on top. Let's go for this. Whoa, that is intensely fennel. I feel more like I'm eating a stew than a caramel. I mean, the caramel is there, it's rounding it out. The fennel is center stage, and then the bay is the earthy mid-tones. Then there's the sweetness, and then a hint of chocolate, and then peppery notes at the end. But it's very, very savory. In fact, I feel like it's more savory than the celery. This feels very much like comfort food and what I'd want in January. So it feels really weird doing this in April, but what else? Next up, we've got carrot coriander, which is just focusing on carrot and coriander and decorated with carrot lace, which really just looks, it looks like a slice of carrot. Let's just go there. That's cool. Theo, you're still good. Let's try it. This is a really dense caramel. Like it's much, much harder to eat in case you couldn't tell. Caramel notes are taking more precedence here. Like there's way more caramel than there were in the previous ones. And that's pretty fun. It is gentle on the carrot. I'm not tasting carrot as much. I'm tasting caramel and some earthiness. Not really caramels per se. Last one, caramelized onion, which looking at milk chocolate, white chocolate on top, caramelized white chocolate on top. Nice. And some black pepper with salt. I'm actually looking forward to this top because caramelized white chocolate is such a neat shortbread note. So shortbread plus pepper and salt, that sounds awesome. Okay. You know, that's really good. So it's also a really dense caramel as I'm trying to get unstuck between my teeth. The onion is sweet and smoky and just a bit savory, and it really works. It actually kind of reminds me of eating Dang's onion chips, if you guys have had those. And I kind of wish it had a hint of hickory smoke, actually, because of that. Though I don't know if I'd feel it as much. I really do like the salt, pepper, and sweetness from the caramelized white chocolate. But it is unmistakably 
completely onion. And if you don't like onion, you should not eat that at all. Oh my goodness, that's, that's onion. Okay, well, that was not quite what I expected. I actually expected to not like any of them. Savory desserts are my jam, but I prefer them in plated desserts and caramel and savory. That can be a little bit of a weird interplay. So the fact that it worked out, and it worked out that I actually really liked one of them, cool. I would absolutely order the caramelized onion again. I hope it ends up on the main menu, and I probably will make a bunch of people eat it just to see how that happens. So yeah, in the comments below, if you want that to be a video, let me know, and I will totally ask the Theo team if I hear enough yeses, because I would do that. For now, I'm Jess, Yelzert Geek, and I hope you get to go out and eat all the things. See you soon. Bye.